A 38-year-old man's death left few clues for Milwaukee police. Now the department is releasing new evidence in this unsolved 2016 cold case. Our Suzanne Spencer with why they think the killer was someone he knew. In every television crime story, there are locations. Milwaukee Police Operator 51, how may I help you? And witnesses. Pretty much, I think the whole neighborhood is talking about it right now. A search for a motive, and often surveillance of who could be involved. We need the people that are involved in the victim's life to provide us the information if, if they know who's responsible. And sometimes even a hint of what may have unfolded. I just feel like it's not fair. But even all the evidence and clues don't show us the whole story. Hi. I love you. A pecky. I love you. A pecky. Or those who are left replaying their final moments together. Lily. I love you. I love you, Daddy. I love you too, Lily. And this is when we took for prof professional pictures. The reel of Clinton Washington went silent at age 34. Just him and his girls. He was always with his two girls. He was the oldest of four children, a manufacturer by trade, but his greatest joy in life was being a father. It just kind of feels like empty, like I don't have anyone to look up to anymore. For his family and the mother of his two children, October 19th, 2016 is on replay. It was Wednesday that he usually take our kids to Bible study and he never showed up to the school to pick them up. Akiba Carter tried to file a missing persons report and kept calling his phone. But after it just kept going to voicemail, I knew something was wrong. So did detectives. Well, this camera's up and down the area here. The same ones on scene at Holton and Meineke four years ago. It's always very hard because you're becoming uh, part of a memory for someone on the worst day of their life. Telling Makiba she was one of the last people to see Clinton. Uh, she had spent the morning with him. They took their kids to daycare and uh, he was last seen by her and last seen alive at around 10 that morning. But Clinton wouldn't make it home. Miles away, a man was walking through the alley, opened a lid, expecting to find cans. Instead, he found something much more gruesome. 2419 North Holden Street, a dead body in a uh, dumpster. I was heartbroken. All I could think about was, how was I gonna break this to our kids that their dad wouldn't come home? We definitely believe that the person that killed Clinton Washington was somebody that was close to him, and likely it would have been because of a very personal reason. A reason these now cold case detectives will never forget. I think other than the fence, I don't think much else has changed. Yeah, I think it was a lot of it is still pretty much the same. Who are releasing new video revealing what no one saw coming next. The video shows a boxed out truck driving through the alley and it, it, and it stops. It's significant because a, um, a witness heard that night a truck pulling up and the cargo door opening up and heard someone um, dragging something off of the uh, truck. When Clinton was found, most of his clothing was removed. His phone gone. It tells us that he was definitely killed somewhere else, put into that can, and then brought here. Detectives followed the leads. The garbage can linked to a vacant lot at 2nd and Center. The home he was living in at 2nd and Keith was burglarized after his death and his car abandoned on the northwest side. We don't know how that car got there. We don't know who brought it there. And we don't know if potentially that is where Clinton went to meet whoever ultimately killed him. When detectives discovered a new lead back at Holton and Meineke. Where the garbage can was located is one building south of where someone who was close to him was living at the time. While police determined that person isn't a suspect, they think the spot where he was left is significant. When you think about of, of all the places in the city of Milwaukee that this garbage can uh, with Clinton inside could have been left, the fact that it was left here um, seems as though it's sending a message. A message Clinton's mother begged detectives to answer. She asked me uh, to please solve Clinton's case before she died. And um, I recently learned that she passed away. I think that really hung on that uh, I want to be able to solve this 
especially for her because that was one of the last things she ever said to me um, in a phone call. And this is us at my granny house. Holding on to the memories and the hope that lives on. Good morning. Okay. Say good morning. Good morning. Why do my kids have to go being brought up without their father when they were so close to him? To take the time to actually put his body in a trash can and transport it is, it just says so much. A message sent to silence those who could hold the answer. If that person <sighs> turn himself in or if we just find out who did it. With photojournalist Eric Litzheim, Suzanne Spencer, Fox 6 News. If you know something about Clinton Washington's death, call the Milwaukee Police Cold Case Unit. We do have their contact information at fox6now.com.